What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. I want to start off by saying that sometimes when I put books on hold at the library, like I read the description of them at the time, then time will pass as it is on the hold list so sometimes by the time it is checked out to me I have forgotten what this book is about but I will just start reading it anyway. So what that, but like the reason I'm telling you this is because it took me 11 hours, this was an 18 hour audiobook. It took me 11 hours to realize that this was Les Mis in space, but if you just look at the back of the book, it tells you that this is Les Mis meets the Lunar Chronicles. And honestly, that is a perfect description of this book. Sky Without Stars is set on this far away planet called Terror, and we are following these three individuals, all from different walks of life, basically as a revolution, like a rebellion is breaking out on this planet. And life is really hard here. There are some very strict rules our first main character is disguising herself as a boy so that she can you know move through the streets more easily she's a thief she's just doing what she can to survive we have somebody who is the son of one of the like most prestigious people in the entire planet and yet he is still dealing with you know the pressures of who he is and discovering like maybe not everything is quite as it seems and then our last character is part of the secret network of people that most of the residents on this planet don't even know exist this was a really cool story. Like, I really liked it. The whole time I was reading it, I knew it was French Revolution. You could kind of tell that that was the direction it was going. There's even, like, an allusion to the guillotine. They have the Bastille, which is, like, a moon that orbits this planet. And overall, like, the vibe of it just felt very nice and very sci-fi. And once I realized it was a Les Mis retelling, um, it is very obvious. One of the characters even has 24601 stamped on his arm. So if you are familiar with Les Mis, I think you will definitely pick up on a lot of these cues. And basically, in my opinion, this is retelling the portion of Les Mis that I find the most compelling. It's when we've skipped like all the way forward. Cosette is grown up. We have the love triangle with her, Impenine, and I forget how you say the last guy's name. And, you know, the actual French Revolution is happening. So that is the retelling that we have here. And once I discovered that, I was a little bit bummed because I was shipping the characters that don't quite end up together. But I will say that this book does do a little interesting twist on it. And where everybody ended up was very, very interesting to me. I'm only giving this book an A-, minus, mostly just because I'm not super invested in the characters. I really like the world and I really want to see where it's going, especially because of where it left off. It's, it's going to put our characters in a different, unique situation and I'm excited to see how they're going to handle that. But when it came to the characters themselves, I wasn't super into them. And if anything, like I did kind of find them a little bit boring and not changed enough from their Les Mis counterparts, except for Jatine, who is Impenine. I really liked her character. She was definitely my favorite out of our main three, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen to her as it goes on. Overall, I do think I would recommend this book. I think it was really fun, and I think it was just very intriguing, like the politics and the way everybody is placed. The only thing that kind of got to me is that it is so straightforward that from Les Mis that once I remembered that, once I realized that, I knew exactly where we were going, so it did kind of take a little bit of the mystery out of it. But since we have kind of come to the end of like Les Mis, I'm interested now because there is another book. So what exactly is going to happen there? So overall, Sky Without Stars, I am giving it an A minus and I would recommend giving it a look. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.